Welcome to Boot Spy. My name's William, and today we got ourselves a boot battle. In this corner, it is the Red Wing Blacksmith, and in this corner, the Wolverine Thousand Mile. I'm gonna compare these boots side by side, talk about the leather, the sole, the fit and sizing, breaking period, the whole thing. And at the very end, make sure you stick around because I'm delivering my final verdict on which of these two boots you should get. Let's get into it. Guys, thank you so much for joining me today. If you enjoy boot reviews and boot comparisons, make sure you please hit that subscribe button down below. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up. Both of those things are super helpful for the channel and I really, really appreciate it. So as I said today, I'm comparing the Red Wing Blacksmith to the Wolverine Thousand Mile. Now at first glance, if these were the same color, you'd notice that they look remarkably similar, but there are a few key differences that in my opinion makes one of these boots better than the other. Let's start off by talking about the style. And this is kind of the area where these really both have the most similarities. So between these two, you'll notice they're both plain toe boots. So unlike the uh, Iron Ranger, the blacksmith does not have a cap toe. So it is a plain toe boot. And that's the same thing for the Wolverine Thousand Mile. They both have wax cotton laces, sort of brass hardware and these very thin soles that, you know, they don't have thick lugs or anything like that, so they're not elevated too much. So it's pretty low profile soles. Um, other similarities between these two boots, they are both 270 degree Goodyear welted, so they have great water resistance uh, and they are easily resold. There's some minor style differences between these two and while really when you're wearing them, they look pretty similar, but uh, if we're getting into the, into the nitty gritty, the details, the Red Wing Blacksmith is built on the same number eight last as the Iron Ranger. So it has a roomier, more bulbous toe cap, whereas the Wolverine Thousand Mile, a little bit slimmer, a little bit sleeker. Uh, it has a lower profile. You can also see some differences in the way these are stitched and kind of how the, the leather is cut. The Blacksmith is a little bit chunkier. The Wolverine Thousand Mile is a little bit sleeker, but again, when they're on the foot, they pretty much, pretty much look the same from that perspective they're both kind of those american heritage plain toe boots that are right in the middle between like fully sleek and they're not totally like super bulky or anything like that as well so even though these are stylistically similar boots i have to give a point because it is a boot battle and in my opinion i'm gonna give that point to the wolverine thousand mile reason why i'm giving them that point is it's a little bit sleeker, a little bit slimmer. The profile is slightly lower just because it's a little bit slimmer, which makes it slightly more versatile, given the point to the Wolverine Thousand Mile. Looking at the leather quality between these uh, side by side, really both of them, you're getting a tremendous quality leather. The Wolverine Thousand Mile is made with Horween Chrome Excel. This is the Cordovan number no. eight. Uh, and so it has this rich oxblood so sort of burgundy color. And then this right here is from the SB Foot Tanning Company. This is oil tan full grain leather, and this is in Black Prairie. So specifically talking about the Black Prairie leather here, this is a T-core leather, meaning that as the black paint kind of scuffs off, it'll show some of that natural tan leather underneath that. So it has a really unique as a really unique look as it breaks in, but also Horwing Chrome Excel, kind of the same thing. I mean, it doesn't, it's not a T-core leather, but as it sort of breaks in, as it as it creases, and as you wear it, it really develops this beautiful, beautiful, rich patina that I'm really looking forward to, to to getting into. And I've only had this boot for a few months, so I haven't really gone to the extent of where it's going to start building a you know six month or twelve month patina or anything like that. But already the leather on both of these is exceptional. So I have to give a point for leather quality. And after wearing both of these, I am going to award the point to Wolverine Thousand Mile. I love the Horwing Chrome Excel leather. I love the way it looks. Um, the Black Prairie leather, I'm really excited to see how it ages. I'm really excited to see what it does over time, especially because it is like T-Core leather and that light natural tan uh, color is going to show through the black. But just from feeling it, it it's pretty matte um, and it doesn't have quite the same luxurious feeling that I was getting from my Amber Harness Iron Rangers. That is to say though, that this leather is still exquisite. Like it's still fantastic leather. But between these two, I mean, you're in top quality, you're at the top top level. So I'm gonna give this one to Wolverine Thousand Mile. One of the biggest differences between these boots is actually in the sole. So looking at these side by side, um, you have 
on the Red Wing Blacksmith, you have the Vibram 430 Mini Lug Sole, which is made of rubber. And then you have on the Wolverine 1000 Mile, a leather sole with a Vibram heel cap. So between these two, I think there is a clear winner. For me, it is the Red Wing Blacksmith. That Vibram 430 Mini Lug Sole, the fact that it's made out of rubber, it has more slip resistance and more durability in the long run. You know, the leather sole, as it's scuffed up, it's gotten a lot more, uh, I've, I've gained more traction but it still just doesn't compete with this Vibram 430 Mini Lug Sole. So the winner in the sole category is the Red Wing Blacksmith. As for fit and sizing, both of these boots, uh, it's recommended that you go down at least a half size lower than your, your normal size. I'm a size 10 and a half on a Brannock device. And when I went into the Red Wing store to get my uh, boots fitted, they recommended a size 10. So that's what I did and the blacksmiths fit really well, size 10. Same thing with the Wolverine 1000 miles, uh, just go half size down lower. Um, so between these two, fit and sizing, the winner is no one, it's a tie, go a half size down. As for the break-in period, I really expected to have a difficult time with both of these boots, but uh, when I put on the Wolverine 1000 miles, I actually have a video you can check out up there, how to break in your boots, and I was doing that with the Wolverine 1000 miles but I didn't experience any soreness at all with these. And then I kind of expected a similar experience, you know, because it's uh, for the blacksmith, it's the same last, it's basically the same shape as the Iron Ranger. So I was expecting, you know, another two, three week break-in period here, but um, I didn't really notice anything. I went online and kind of checked it out. And some other people were saying that the blacksmith in Black Prairie, this particular leather, um, it just doesn't really, doesn't really, uh, attack your foot the same way that amber harness leather does for the Iron Ranger. So that kind of explains why I didn't have a break-in period with this. So the winner of the best break-in period is again a tie. Now that we've got some of the subjective stuff out of the way, let's talk about price. Uh, last time I checked, the Wolverine 1000 Mile retails new when it's not on sale at all for about $360. A lot of times you can find these on sale for like $300 or even lower, uh, but let's just say $360 for this one. And then for the Red Wing Blacksmith, last time I checked, these were $300. And uh, you can buy these on Amazon or actually last time you couldn't buy them through the Red Wing website. They had like a, a data breach or something like that. But um, so I would just check them out on Amazon and I have a link down in the description below. These are 300. So the clear winner between that one is the Red Wing Blacksmith. So now the head to head portion of our boot battle is done. So we got to do a tiebreaker. It's two to two. My favorite one of these boots, if I could only have one of them, it would be the Red Wing Blacksmith. Now there's one big reason why I'm choosing the Red Wing Blacksmith over the Wolverine 1000 Mile. Again, I want you to take this with a grain of salt because I did actually buy the Wolverine 1000 Mile before I bought the Blacksmith, but uh, I'm choosing the Wolverine Blacksmith because of this Vibram 430 Mini Lug Sole. Now I think it's vastly superior to the leather sole on the Wolverine 1000 Mile. It just has more durability, has more grip. Um, they both keep basically the same low profile, but it's just, in my opinion, it's just a better sole and it's gonna last longer. So that's why I would go with the Red Wing Blacksmith. Of course, I did end up choosing the Wolverine 1000 Mile first because I really, really loved this uh, Cordovan number no. eight color, this rich like burgundy oxblood sort of color. I thought this was really, really attractive and I really loved it. And I also wanted to know what the Wolverine 1000 Mile was all about. So I'm glad that I picked this up first, uh, but still, if I could only choose one of these boots, I would go with the Blacksmith. Guys, let me know which of these two boots you would pick down in the comments below. While you're there, hit that subscribe button. Also, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you wanna check out any of the reviews of these boots, um, just stick around to the end. There's gonna be some videos that pop up. You can click on those, or you can head over to the channel page and check out some of those reviews also in the, in the boot battle section. So we have a whole playlist where we're doing comparisons here. Again, yeah, make sure you subscribe because the next video coming up is gonna be the Red Wing Blacksmith versus the Iron Ranger. So if you wanna see that, hit that button. And until next time, put your best boot forward.